is up guys it's Cole here we're back with another video uh, sorry about my hair it's sticking up weird but today we're going to be doing as you could probably see from the title we're going to count up all my stuff in my piggy bank so i did this about a year ago i didn't make a video though but i had about 150 dollars worth of coins in here and so i thought well this year we could do it again but make a video of it so yep let's get to it Okay, guys, so we finally got all the coins out. There's a few stragglers around, but yeah, I'll look around for those. But yeah, this piggy bank, I'm surprised, actually holds it all. We weighed it before we did this, and it was 15 pounds on the button. But yeah, I'm excited to count this out. So this is like 12 years of savings. So yeah, I'm really excited. So let's do this. Okay, so before we start, I actually wanted to explain how we're going to do this. So what we're going to do is we're just going to sort it into, like, all the different kinds of coins, like quarters, one pile, pennies, another pile, dimes, nickels. Uh, and I think I have a dollar coin in here somewhere. I don't know if I have a half coin yet, but, but yeah, I've got a dollar coin in here somewhere, actually. Yeah, but we'll find it, hopefully find it somewhere in here later. So, yeah, we're going to start sorting Okay, guys, so these are all the coins that we just kind of found that were, like, dirty. So the coin that I thought was the coolest, where is it? It's right. Did I already lose it? This is my favorite. Hmm. must have lost. Oh, no, here it is. This is my That's weird. It's a dime. But, like, the one side's fine. Then you flip it over. I don't know. It's hard. But then you have a whole bunch of like dirtier coins that I just thought I'd throw in here. That's all over our court. Come on, focus. Right there, we have all of our. All right, I had some mixed in by accident. Oh. We have our dollar coin. Jed wants to show you his buffalo coin. Well, focus. 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 There we go. And I was wondering. This says Canada on it. Is it a Canadian coin? Like if you flip it over, it says it's 25 cents, but like still. That, oh, that's cool. Right there it says 25 cents. We got a lot of cool coins. But yeah, we've got a whole bunch of quarters. There's probably some more in there somewhere, but yeah, I'm not sure if this is a quarter or a loony or toony. <laughs> That's what Canadian dollars coins and stuff are called or something. I don't know. Uh, is this coin? This is my dollar coin, like I said. But yeah, I'm not sure what this coin is. I think at once we did have those juds. I think at once we did have a, like a Chinese or Japanese quarter in here. I'd have to look to find it. But yeah, we had fun. We're going to start on. What do you want to start on next? Dimes? Nickels? Oh, wait, let's, there's a quarter right here. Let's, let's, do a, let's do nickels. Let's do dimes. Dimes, I think, are the... They're 10 cents. Nickels are only, like, what, five? <laughs> so, yeah, let's try... That nickel let's do I don't dimes know that next. Okay, okay, so dimes. we'll be back when we finish. We're probably not going to do another time lapse. It was only... Oh, we might. Let's do time lapse again. Yeah, all right, so we'll be back. Okay, guys, so I really do think I changed my mind. I might do, like, pull out nickels and dimes at the same time, so then all we have left is pennies, and it'll make it go a lot faster, because I think this will take a while, so I think I'm going to start a nickel pile, okay? Oh, 
we officially have the last silver coin, the dime. When you search through here, we're pretty sure the rest of that is pennies. These are more odd coins. Now that we have all of our odd coins, we're gonna move them back and back to where they would go. Mm -hmm. So quarters, salvage, go ahead and quarter pile, dimes, dime pile, pennies. You had a lot of pennies, let me tell you that. So we'll just finish this up and we'll get back with you whenever we like set it up and get it all neat and stuff. So yeah, we'll be back. Okay guys, so I'm not sure if you remember, but I told you about that quarter I had and it was like Japanese or something. Found it. So I don't know if it's a quarter. I had 533 quarters, not counting this one. If I add this, I have 534. So if I add this, I'll have 534 quarters, but I have 533, I'm not gonna add it. And I found my other dollar coin. So I had 535 coins there, but I pulled two out because it's a dollar coin and a weird Japanese coin. And I put the Canadian 25 cents in the thing. So if you pull that out, then I only have, what, well, 532. So, yeah, I'm going to go on to probably dimes now. So I'll be back in a bit. Okay, guys, so now I had 354 dimes. We have pennies and nickels left, which are going to be a pain. As you can see, the pennies, there's a lot of them, and they're little, so they're just annoying. So pennies are probably going to be next, and the nickels last, or maybe nickels next and pennies last. I don't know, but we're going to take a break for a little bit. My throat's getting dry from counting out loud. It helps me memorize it better, like, if I ever have to stop. But, yeah. We are halfway done. Oh, yeah, and I almost forgot to say uh, that my brother found a quarter, and he said because he was already done counting, he would let me have it, so I got another quarter. So, yeah, I'm at 534. Okay, guys, so we finished counting everything. I'll go show you in a minute. We did add this quarter. I don't know if we told you, but we found another dollar coin. I don't know if we told you. So we have two dollar coins. But yeah, so here, I'll show you what we counted up. And we did find a dime. And it honestly looked more like a penny than a dime, but it was a dime. So we have 535 quarters. 355 dimes, 697 pennies, and 169 nickels. So we're gonna do the math and see how much money I have. Okay guys, so we're finally done. We had $133.75 in quarters. We had $35.50 in dimes, $6.97 in pennies, and $8.5 in nickels. And that came out to a total of $184.67. So that's pretty good for my piggy bank. It's actually empty right now because all the coins are still sitting over there. 
But wait, I just realized something. I forgot to add the two dollars. So that's a hundred and eighty six point six seven dollars in coins. I'd say that's pretty good for twelve years. So yep, that's the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Bye. But wait, I just realized we haven't put the coins away yet. So now we gotta put all the coins away, which is my least favorite part. So we gotta find the plug. Once we find the plug, we'll start putting coins away. Okay guys, so these are pennies that I found. I don't know if you can see, I think this is the 1955 one. If it'll focus. I don't think it's gonna focus. Well, this is 1955 penny. And I think it's called, there you go, you can kind of see it. That's a 1940 penny. I think they're called wheat pennies because of the things on the back. They're both wheat pennies. And well, if the, the 1955 one goes for about 15 cents, and this one would go for about 35. So that was just what I looked up on the internet. I don't know if it's true or not, but yeah, I've found out that this one could go for 15, this one could go for 35. So if I did sell these, I could make 48 cents, which I mean, isn't a whole bunch, but like for me, that would be cool. So yeah, just wanted to let you guys know before I start. Okay guys, so I gotta put all away, but as you can see, it's like filled to the brim. Like there's not much room left there. So we're gonna get the cap real quick. Just slap that on there. Ta-da! I used a paper to put it all on in the end and it came in real handy. So yeah, I'm gonna go weigh this thing. I said it was 15 pounds in the beginning, but let's see if it still weighs that because I dropped a few coins and I don't know if I grabbed them all. So if it doesn't weigh 15 pounds, well then I lost a good bit of coins. Okay guys, so I didn't lose any coins, but thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Um, and I guess I'll see you next time.